Hello everyone, today I will be talking about the symptoms of ADHD in children. You must have heard this term, it is commonly being used to describe many children. The full form is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. So what is this? What are the symptoms? When should you suspect in a child? Firstly, ADHD diagnosis is usually considered after 6 years of age. So if your 2 year or 3 year old is hyperactive, not able to pay attention, please do not panic. There is an age group for this diagnosis. So 6 years plus and the symptoms should be seen for more than 6 months. Now there may be phases when all children are hyperactive, impulsive, not paying attention. So only if the symptoms are consistent for 6 months plus and you see the symptoms in 2 or more sessions. Settings. For example, the symptoms should be present at home and also in school because see if the child is very pampered at home, uh, he or she may not listen to things, may be hyperactive at home but the same child may be very well settled in school. Similarly, if the child is not happy in school, uh, is not able to mix with the teachers and other kids, the child may behave a little differently in school. So these symptoms should be noticed by the parents as well as the teachers. So not just in one setting. Now there are two subset of symptoms in ADHD. One is the inattention type and the second one is the hyperactivity or impulsivity type. Now some children may just have the inattention symptoms. They may not have hyperactivity or impulsivity. So these children the diagnosis usually gets missed or is delayed. So just be aware of the subtype. ADHD is more common in boys than girls but it is not like that girls do not have ADHD even in girls it is seen. So what are the symptoms when you should be concerned and you should approach your pediatrician for an evaluation. So in the inattention category you see that your child makes a lot of silly mistakes while doing homework like and it is very repetitive like once in a while everybody does 2 plus 2 every child can write 5 once in a while but it is consistent. There are work is not very neat like you know whenever they are coloring they are not able to color within the lines I mean you know it's always looking untidy more than the other children of their age they find it difficult to uh, complete simple tasks or homework they do not like uh, you know doing tasks which involve concentration when people are talking to them they don't seem to be listening or you know they just uh, drift off midway or it's like they never heard the whole conversation they do not follow your commands now this is not out of disobedience now i know enough children you tell them go and get a glass of water they will be like no i don't want to do it so in these children it's not like they are doing it out of defiance it's just that they are not able to follow the command because of the inattention so if you find this is happening these children lose things more commonly for example all children you lose things in school but you will find your child is losing a tiffin box a pencil box pencils books very very frequently so this could be a sign your child is not having enough attention your child forgets simple things more often than normal children for example they forget to brush their teeth they forget to pack their books simple simple things they find uh, they forget very often all children will do it i know my daughter forgets brushing in the morning when she's getting late for school probably once in a month but if it is like happening every third or fourth day then definitely it's a cause for concern these children uh, find difficult to do uh, designated tasks like putting toys away playing a board game so if you notice these features more commonly and if it's just one feature your child is just careless in homework that doesn't count if at least you notice majority of these symptoms in your child then consider approaching your pediatrician now the second category with these are the children which get picked up more easily by parents also and in school also this is the hyperactivity and the impulsivity character so these children cannot uh, sit in their class the teacher will complain your child keeps getting up frequently and walking out of the class or just keeps getting up from the chair then sitting down these children are very fidgety so even if they're sitting down they'll be squirming they'll be doing this they'll be doing something something some fidgetiness will be there which is a little more than normal children 
children of course many children are a bit fidgety but you as i said these symptoms should be a little more than normal children like so if they are just happening once in a while and not in excess don't worry about it these children tend to jump excessively climb excessively even in places where they are not supposed to do it for example at home or they go to a shop so obviously in playground and all it's acceptable but in those places for a 6 plus year old behaving like that is a little concerning the child is always running you know it's like as if the child is driven by a motor like even while eating food the child will have a bite run 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 have a bite run 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 or doing homework writes one line run 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 so you know you feel that the running is excessive then these children talk excessively you know and uh, they'll just go on talking and will not uh, listen to the other person's thing they have difficulty in social interactions because of this especially with other children they find it difficult to wait for their turn now if children are playing a game they find it difficult to wait for their turn they will cut into the turn they will not be able to follow the rules so yeah if i know all kids do it again as i said most of these symptoms if you'll see will be present in every kid but as i said persistently excessively and for 6 months in two different settings please remember that then these children will not let you complete your question now supposing you are about to ask who's your favorite in between only the child will answer oh my favorite subject is maths english blah 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 they will not even wait at what favorite thing were you asking about and they tend to interrupt in conversations like supposing two adults are talking all kids do that again as i said but they will like too frequently keep interrupting other people's conversations or what they are saying they find it very difficult to complete their homework or any you know they are not able to finish a task they are not able to play quietly like all children do tend to have some quiet play time where they'll play house house with a doll they'll play some board game uh, supposing they're supposed to put away their toys so those quiet time things these children are not able to do uh, again as i said in this list if your child just has the habit of jumping excessively and other things are hardly there to don't be worried it's only if majority of these symptoms you notice in your child and the school also notices the same thing then please approach your pediatrician for a detailed discussion later on these will be diagnosed by a certified pediatric neurologist or some assessor and then there are therapies but right now i'm just talking about how to identify the symptoms of adhd in your child